Frank, listen, I'm sorry if I gave you the impression that I thought you were a quitter. Uh, I'm afraid I gave you that impression of me. Yeah, you were a real creep, but that was a long time ago. I just, I don't want to make the same mistakes with you. Hey, we're both trying to clean up our pasts. And that's exactly why I want to get this computer running, because I gave you my word. Scanlon, you jerk. Don't you see that you have nothing to prove to me anymore? I'm already in your corner. Why? Because I bought you a 30-year-old computer that doesn't even work? I love that you bought me this computer and are moving heaven and earth to make her work. And I should have just bought you flowers like any normal guy would have done. Are you listening? Thanks to this computer, we've been able to hang out together. And spending time with you has meant a lot to me. Yeah. Me too. You know, when I'm here, I feel like a little kid again, like we're working on a secret project. Yeah, I don't know, it's like this garage is like a throwback to another time. I don't know, maybe, maybe we're both into this because we never really had a chance to be kids. Why? Because I spent my childhood being a parent to my mom, trying to keep her off the bottle. And you, you spent your teenage years taking care of your family and the whole rest of the world. I just, I just keep wondering, how did I get so lucky? I mean, you're beautiful, and you're smart, and you actually like spending time with me, and, and the computer, of course. I just, I, I really Frank, wish we could have... Frank, Frank, Frank. <sighs> you know, um, I think it's time we both stop hiding behind this poor machine. Here goes, Scanlon. It's not the computer I'll miss on nights when I'm away. It's you. And sometimes I wonder, how did I get so lucky? <sighs> there. So what do you have to say about that? Well, you know, I don't exactly know when this started happening between us. really have to give up my dreams? I'm afraid so. You know, it is the best thing for you, for us. You know, life isn't always balloons and cotton candy all the time, and if you think that way, you can really, really get hurt. I won't. But you see, the world can let you down big time. You know, you think everything's going just great, and you have the world by the tail, and it's all going your way, and then everything changes, and the people that you love, they sometimes just don't love you back, and the plans you have to have a great big family, they all go up in smoke, and you're, you're just left with a horrible, empty place in your heart. No! Race to the tree. It's time to play. I'm, I'm afraid not. I think it's time that we both go our separate ways, kiddo. Are you sure? Yeah, you know, it, it's time for a big girl like me to grow up. Maybe big girls aren't supposed to have that happily ever after dream. dreamt about this moment a million times. But we do have to face the inevitable. I have to go back to poor Charles. And you have to go back to your wife. I gave Ariana my name, that's all. I know. I just can't shake the feeling that if we go back to Port Charles, something's going to keep us apart. I'm not going to let that happen. You belong with me. Tell me again. And again. And again. Mm. The only thing in this crazy little world that I know for sure is that you're mine forever. Well, seeing us together in the First World War proves it to me. Yeah? You do believe that? Mm-hmm. I know we've been together before, Ian. I know that with all of my heart. 
and all of my soul. <laughs> so do I. I wonder if we were ever together in a time where there was no war. No INS. Just two people in love with nothing to be afraid of. No phones, no faxes, just oh, us. That sounds like heaven, doesn't it? Yeah. But what if that's not what our future holds? Maya. Oh, I thought you might be hungry. Thank you. Yeah, all that and room service, too. <laughs> oh, I love this place. Mm. I don't want anything to change. I'm just afraid if we go back to Port hey. Charles, things are going to be... Couldn't there be something we could do to keep our mind of the future for a little while? Show me. I fear for your future too, Eve. I have no control over that. But I can try to give you any and back your past. <laughs>